Welcome to Mark Breed 757. And I'm here again to talk about a weight loss journey. And we, uh, let's see here, last week was the last time I had a weigh in. And if you've seen my previous video that week where I weighed 400 pounds, I did not have a picture. I will have a picture this time of this weight. And I'm uh, going to show that to you shortly. But remember, I had my boss tell me he's going to take a hundred dollars out of my check so i won't be able to have a hundred bucks uh if i'm overweight well i'm about to weigh in and we're going to see what it is um you do see that i was under the 400 period uh, earlier this week but let's see what i weighed in today now you can see i'm at 386.7 pounds Ooh, man, that's a 13.3 pound loss just in one week. Granted, I do not want to do that all the time. I, I mean, it's not healthy, but considering how I'm <laughs> extremely obese, pudgy, you know, people say you're pudgy or you're uh, fluffy or what. Hey, I'm, I'm fat, man. I'm super fat, you know, super bad, super fat. That's what I am, all right? Um, I got my fingers crossed that I can... Please stay under that weight next week because I do not want to lose a hundred bucks. Granted, this uh, losing a hundred bucks only goes until I get under three hundred pounds, and then he's not going to be monitoring me as closely. Uh, although I, I take it as a my boss really really cares for me, and I've been working with him for over seven years now, so uh, he he's been fantastic. Uh, couldn't ask for a better boss. He doesn't really push me or anything too much other than he cares about you know he, he wants me to still work for him so he wants me to lose weight because he knows if I, I keep gaining weight the more weight I gain the lazier I become and this is just his incentive to get me to keep going and I got some different stipulations so he is able to take the money away you know because it's kind of like eh, well it's not money under the table I basically do all of his web work and because I do all of his web work, I get paid as a webmaster and not as an employee. So basically, I have my own business, which, hey, if you can get your own business, that's the way to go, I tell you. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about uh, me getting down 13.3 pounds in one week. And uh, part of that, I was fasting for a whole day. You know, let's see, how did I lose 13.3 pounds? Well, first, I ate pretty much whatever I wanted on Saturday. Sunday, I had a decent-sized breakfast, and then I ate that whole pizza. After that, I knew I ate that whole pizza with the intentions of fasting all day Monday. And I kind of planned on fasting like every other day for a week or up to two weeks. Well, that day didn't do too bad. So, you know, Tuesday, Monday through Friday, I worked out at the YMCA every morning from uh, for about an hour. Now, Tuesday wasn't too bad working out, and I ate small. And then Wednesday, I fasted the whole day, so Wednesday's workout wasn't so bad. Thursday, after I fasted all day Wednesday, I, I did eat in that morning. Because I knew I had to eat something before I worked out again. But because I didn't eat the whole day, the day before, and then I still tried to work out, I felt like I was going to pass out and I felt very weak. You know, I, I went home, let the uh, food settle, and I ate something else. And then I started feeling better. So I did make it into work. I was an hour late, though, but hey, can't be perfect, I guess. And I did learn a valuable lesson. Now, that did not discourage me from fasting altogether because I do remember I did intermittent fasting with great success. And the intermittent fasting, which I was kind of doing there with a day and not, but at least with the inner, the type of intermittent fasting I want to do is where you eat for eight hours, you know, small, considerate meals, nothing, you know, spectacular, nothing huge, not too much. But you eat the small meals within the eight hours and then 16 hours of fasting and that seemed to work out fantastic for me and there was days and then that was when I was weighing myself every day 
and while I would weigh myself every day, it would uh, allow me to see what things did. You know, if I ate this much, it would maybe gain a little bit, but if I didn't eat that much, because I had the same deal with my boss, but he wanted me to weigh myself every day, and there was times I would gain uh, within from one day to the next. But it's because it's so hard to figure out how to eat and not gain anything during a day. But I do believe I'll have greater success with the week because you have a whole week to kind of determine. Anyway, <laughs> I am going back there and intermittent fasting. And tomorrow I have a disc golf tournament. So there will not be any kind of video tomorrow unless I can somehow regain energy. Now, I've been wanting to lose this weight before the disc golf tournament started because I was at over 400 or whatever even after last year's season ended at disc golf. And I, I wanted to be down so I could be in all the tournaments with my boy. Well, I signed myself up. So I'm already obligated. I have to go. Uh, the money has already been spent. And I might as well give it a shot. Uh, the one thing that does scare me, not so much the weight, but the I have plantar fasciitis. And I've been working like crazy on that for the last month, two months. Because I've had it and I've been trying to get it back. And the supplement video I'm going to do on Sunday. So you should see it either Sunday night or Monday one of them times and part of the reason why I'm taking so many different supplements is because of this plantar fasciitis. I pretty much went online and researched everything I could. I cross-referenced and everything else you can think of and I'm going to have all kinds of little things coming at you with the supplements and why I'm taking them and most of it's going to be because of the plantar fasciitis because if you're not familiar with it when you go to uh, walk around usually it doesn't hurt too bad but it does have it does cause pain but when you sit down it throbs and then after you go to sleep and you go to wake up it's oh it's a bear to wake up because you all that pain in your foot just doesn't allow you to really walk too well um, but I'll be talking more about that in the next video anyway I hope you enjoyed this video or somewhat liked it, figured it, I don't know. Uh, question, comments, complaints, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.